All right, you ready? Yep. All right, so hello, my name is Tyler Lindahl and my project is on landscape infill development and uh, also helping you litter students who have to contribute to <coughs> litter around in here. Uh, <coughs> so I chose this project because I see Albuquerque as a wonderful place filled with diverse culture and many opportunities, but certain areas suffer from a degraded landscape that become an eyesore for residents and tourists. So as a environmental planning and design major, I see a community that can prosper through creative problem solving of landscape design. And uh, what I think we need to do is provide a better well-being and image for the community because I see the community struggling to keep a clean image of Albuquerque as a result of vacant land and desolate beaches. With landscape infill uh, solution, we can protect the community, the environment, and local economy. So my research goal for this was to identify places near me that have a lot of litter that come from a lack of landscaping in areas that don't have littering because there is a landscape. And so I conducted interviews with a couple residents um, in the area of uh, certain places in Albuquerque to determine how this affects people within proximity of that uh, particular location. And so up here is a vacant parcel that's over a landfill and you can see there's uh, a lot of illegal dumping and littering that happens on this uh, lot here and the city hasn't done anything to clean it up yet um, and here is another picture of weeds and trash being blown into a corner of a lot uh, where it just piles up and no one's cleaned up this area in I think it's been over two years that I've seen this spot here so my discoveries from the interviews and site visits are really no surprise so I found that uh, people felt disappointed in the areas filled with littering and illegal dumping uh, areas that are littered with trash made residents feel like the community was being disrespected and they thought of those areas as tumbleweeds and are, are not as bad as trash but still didn't look great for the community and that they did like landscaped areas and thought they were pleasant and wanted to uh, have more of those to clean up the bare areas that are filled with litter. Uh, so the idea behind this is that actually people tend to litter in places that already have litter and avoid littering in places that already have a pleasant landscape. An example of that is Domingo Baca Park. You can see on the opposite side that there is a landscape, but in the foreground, the trash just builds up and people keep throwing trash on those same spots. And so, so uh, in this example here, you can see on the right that there is a landscape and it does help uh, bring down the litter. And uh, so there's another slide showing the opposite side of the road that does still have trash. So a couple important uh, City programs is the weed litter remo removal, so they can actually support that. There's adopt a city or adopt a medium program, and uh, keep out of the beer movements and wildfire wildflower projects. So these are some good city programs that help uh, keep the easements clean. And so I think we could keep doing that with places like this and keep trash out.